Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering the woke boycotts. Target has put themselves into a terrible situation. They are in a crisis. Their sales are dropping at the stores. Their employees are upset. They have new bomb threat scares almost daily now. There was a lot in Oklahoma, but they've popped up now all over the country. All of this because they tried to be something that they're not. They tried to be a social advocacy center. They went all out promoting Pride Month with a 2,000 product display, 2,000 different items with authentic trans designers, one after another, planning all of this. And I'm not sure if you know or not, but that amount of effort to put together 2,000 products and come up with this massive display that was featured in the front of all of their stores was a huge effort. And for what? Now they have people writing article after article like this. Does Target believe in LGBTQ rights or not? Retailer's annual Pride Month collection is drawing transphobic criticism and misinformation. It's an opportunity to show what the brand stands for. Well, how would they take that opportunity? What exactly could they do to show what their Target brand actually stands for? Because it never stood for this. It never stood for their pride collection. That was something that was new. Of course, I'm sure they've had all kinds of inclusive items before, but this was a big push. It wasn't that closely associated with the brand. That's not why people went to Target. It's an upscale version of Walmart. That's what it is. That's why people went there. But less people are going there as their sales are starting to go down. But what could they do? Well, according to the Human Rights Campaign, they could agree with over 200 LGBT organizations that are calling on Target and the business community to speak out against extremist LGBT attacks. Well, I mean, it's not a media operation. It's just like Walmart, but a little fancier. That's it. It's a department store. They have no place in this whole argument and this whole conversation. And as they try to go ahead and take some bad advice and push their luck, this never had to happen. All they had to do was ask some of their customers in some of the most resistant areas that would have been offended by this. Hey, we're doing a survey. Look, look at some of the pictures of some of the merchandise. Here's a sample pride item that we're planning on putting in the store. Here's a swimsuit you can give to your brother in case he wants to tuck something. This might be great for him. Well, did they do that? No, they didn't do the basic market research that companies have been doing since there've ever been companies to find out how your customers feel about the products you're putting out, but no. They went along with the human rights campaign. They went along with BlackRock. They took terrible advice and now they put themselves into a situation where sales are dropping. They are not what they used to be. Foot traffic is down, meaning less people are going in and out of stores. And when less people go to stores, less people are buying things. Their employees are upset. I'm sure there are some employees that are like, hey, I don't even know what's going on and I don't care. But a lot of their employees have been writing on their Target Reddit social media subreddit that I check out a lot that they're disappointed. They don't even know if it's okay to wear a pride shirt. Here's one that says, hey, is it over for Target? Because they see the stock is down. It's down a lot. Between Friday and today, it actually hit its lowest number in the last 52 weeks. And if that wasn't enough, there are all these bomb threat hoaxes, supposedly. It's interesting because I've been around a little while. I mean, I've heard of bomb threats before in different stores. This is the first time I've ever heard of a bomb threat being referred to by police as a hoax. So they have hoax bomb threats. Why? Probably because the only people that have been outed as the people doing the bomb threats are people that were upset that Target removed the merchandise from their stores. A lot of the pride merchandise is gone. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe, please do subscribe. Thank you so much for that. So talking about the sales drop, this I thought was really interesting because Target is not publishing its sales just yet. Yes, we've seen reports from banking analysts that have said, hey, there's less foot traffic in the stores, particularly the last week of May, but for the whole month of May, there was less. For the last week of May, it was down like 14%. For the whole month of May, it was 7%. That's a huge, huge drop. But from this post on Reddit, we see this is the lowest I've probably seen drive-ups. Drive-ups is if you 
buy the merchandise before you go to the store. You're just driving up there to pick it up. Genuinely at an all time low here, it's a catch 22 because it's nice we aren't being slammed because who likes to work, right? But boring as hell because there's nothing to do, LOL. Maybe that's not that funny though because as some people on the Reddit do understand that as employees of Target, it's bad if their company doesn't make sales because that's how they're able to ultimately pay for the employees. It's pretty basic. Not all of them get it, a couple of them do. Here's a couple comments on this post. OMG, oh my God, I thought 250 was low. It's low, it's a problem. Here's someone asking, how many do you usually have? And the answer to that is 90 to 100, down to 52 guests, normally they have 90 to 100. That's a 50% drop off. I'm not saying that target sales have dropped off by 50%. In this case, the sales have dropped off by 50%. Not in all cases, it ain't good. From Outkick, Target is gaining on Bud Light, now down a staggering $15 billion. It's now $16 billion. That's how bad it is. Target is actually in a worse situation than Bud Light's company because Bud Light's company actually does have a lot of other beer brands and they have a lot of business internationally also. So they could lose Bud Light, it will cost them billions as it already has. Even if Bud Light is completely canceled as a brand, it doesn't push them out of business. Target is Target, so everything they sell is represented by their logo. If their logo and their brand goes down, they go down. Target stock at $126.48, down 0.4% today. It was down over 3% on Friday. At a negative 0.4%, that's a little more than $200 million lost today. Even employees are asking, is it over for Target? I don't know about you guys, but this is starting to worry me. A sensible employee. I've started noticing less customers now, even on weekends, and it's getting kind of crazy. Our fulfillment orders have been low as well. This is someone who's actually inside a store talking about it with other people. They're not publishing this for my benefit saying, hey, you know, business really is off. The boycott is actually a real thing. A couple of other comments in here, people saying, hey, it's no big deal. Here's another person saying, I don't know, my store has been absolutely dead for almost a month now, and we used to be slammed all the time. I think that's a 5% drop. That's another one of those stores that might be a 50% drop. I don't think their sales are gonna drop 50%. However, I didn't think it was gonna be this severe for Target either in terms of the response to the boycott overall and all the media coverage. When you work for a company and the company starts to get into trouble, you start to notice. Here's another person who went to go work at a new store. They just got transferred from out of state. They already had removed all their pride merchandise from their gateway area, the main area. They're wearing a Target shirt that says take pride that they got at an old store. And they're worried that the company is gonna say something when they go in. And they're also worried that they won't be able to bite their very opinionated tongue. Things are really screwed up over there. Here's a conversation, and this is an anonymous conversation with a very credible website called Modern Retail, where they're talking to one of the employees about how they feel about how things have been going on at Target and how Target handled all of the boycott drama since it started. Quote, they don't actually care about queer people. Confessions from a Target worker on the company's decision to remove some pride items. One thing that gets me confused is I don't know what people expect if you're straight or if you're gay or one of the other things that you could be. What does that have to do with your job? You go there, you're like, hey, I'm here to work. What can I do for you? They tell you what to do. You do it to the best of your ability, and then you get paid and they get your time and your effort, and that's it. Beyond that, all those personal things about like, don't you care if I'm straight or if I'm something else, like, no, why should they? It's none of their business. That's the best I can figure it. But it's fascinating to listen to these people who are employees who are like, look, here's my situation. I don't think they care about me enough. Like, well, what do you want them to do? Give you flowers? I don't know. Let's see what they say. Target employees have found themselves caught in the middle after the company's decision to remove some pride merchandise from stores. The big box retailer announced on May 24th that it was removing some items from its Pride Month collection due to threats impacting our team members' safety and well-being while at work. But Target released few details on which items it was actually removing and why it was removing them. A spokesperson from Target told Reuters it was reviewing certain transgender swimsuits and children's merchandise, but didn't say conclusively what items it had removed. Much of that information has been ascertained by looking at the company's website, the company removing items made by LGBT brand Aprelin, 
as well as trans designer Eric Carnell, according to Reuters. So questions from the interview. Before the announcement from Target Corporate that they were removing some Pride merchandise, did anything happen at your store? Or did you first hear about this through the news? Well, I know before they actually removed it, we did have customers, you know, calling and complaining, coming in the store and complaining. It was not a lot, maybe a couple. Do you ever recall getting similar calls or complaints during past Pride months? No, not at all. How did you feel when you heard about this, that you heard a couple of customers were complaining about the Pride displays? The response, I just felt annoyed because it was like, why are you putting us workers that have nothing to do with it? Why are you giving us a hard time? It's not our fault whether you like it or not. It put more of a strain on us and more work on us to have to deal with that. And obviously it makes you feel unsafe, especially for a queer person. You never know what a customer will do. Well, when you work for a company and you're on the front lines of a company, you do represent that company. And that is something that a manager should explain to this employee that, Yes, sometimes it's great to work for a company. Sometimes it's not great to work for a company. But if your values don't align with your company's values and it's a big deal to you, you go work somewhere else. And how do you feel how Target Corporate responded? I think it's sad. I mean, it's not shocking because working for Target, I know they're not a really great company after working for them for so many years. But it's just disappointing to see them kind of just give into it. I mean, it makes sense because all they really care about is profit, so it's not shocking, but it's like, wow, that sucks. What about the other point of view? You know, if I'm the employer and I see, wow, I wish I knew who this employee was, they're not happy working for me. They don't think I'm a great company. They don't think I care about people. So obviously it's not a good fit. So go work somewhere else. It's always a one-way street with employees that don't care about the company that they work for either. It's somehow like a parent and child relationship. I don't fully understand it. Has this changed anything in terms of how you feel about working for Target? It just feels like Target's trying to appease the same people that made us feel unsafe. And they say that they're doing it for our safety, but it makes us feel like, I already know that they don't actually care about queer people, but this just confirms it, kind of confirming what I already knew. Everything has to be a one-way street. It's gotta just be that your company just showers love and care on the employees at all times. This I know is a common problem that companies have with employees because people weren't brought up with the same values today that they were a few years ago and certainly a few years earlier than that. But this is a good opportunity for Target to review who's working for them. And if these people are not happy working there, they shouldn't be working there. But in the meantime, they're in a massive crisis, not because of those frontline employees, but because of decisions they made at a higher level. And hopefully they're making better decisions now. I wouldn't trust this company with any kind of investment. I don't like how they're communicating with their employees or how they're communicating with customers. And they certainly still haven't resolved the problem. They still keep getting bomb threats. And you would hope that these companies learn their lesson and realize you need to talk to your customers. See how your customers feel about things before you decide to go and start pushing a social agenda on your customers because they may not be your customers anymore. The customers aren't going and doing any kind of violence. They're just not going to the stores the way they used to go to the stores. And if someone does go to a Target store and they care about this subject at all, they are gonna think twice and say, you know what, do I really need to go to Target? Maybe I could go to another store. You know what, I'll just put it off. I don't really need to go. Some people would be worried about their friends seeing them in a Target store. Nobody wants to be seen drinking Bud Light now. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Did you realize that Target stock is at its all-time low for the last 52 weeks? Did you know the employees were this upset with Target over the Pride Month stuff, but they're also upset just in general? They don't sound very happy working there. And these bomb threats that Target is facing, it also kind of makes you wonder as a customer, would you really want to go to a Target if they do get bomb threats? Maybe that's just not the best place to go shopping right now. Maybe you could go some other place. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Really appreciate you guys. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.